Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make the heat map effect everyone's been making for the past couple months. And it's actually really easy. Uh, you start off with your image or your text, doesn't matter. You can use this technique to whichever thing you prefer. I'm gonna go to the background, click here and select solid color because I want my background to be black. This way, by making it into your background into a color fill, you won't have any problems. If you resize your artboard, it'll automatically resize for you. So we can delete this background layer. I then like to go to the adjustments tab and add a black and white filter. This way I can edit individual colors to if maybe my image doesn't have high, is not really high contrast, then probably my um, gradient map later isn't going to work as well. So you want to have a good balance between the shadows and highlights. Nothing to be like too contrasty. Something like this works for me and I'm going to select both my layers, um, hold down control and convert to smart object. I like to work in smart objects that it's kind of like a less destructive, so if you want to go back, you can always do that. Go back to the Adjustments tab and click here to add a gradient map. Now, I, you, know, you guys know I love gradient maps. Um, they're so easy to work with and non-destructive. You can always go back and change the colors later on. To apply your gradient map only to your object or your text, Hold down the Alter Option key in between your gradient map layer and your object layer. Whenever you see this little arrow, just click and it's going to make it into a clipping mask. So it's going to apply the gradient map only on the object that's underneath it. Next, you want to click on the gradient up here on top and we're going to create a sort of rainbowy gradient map. Basically, whichever colors you place on the left side are going to affect the highlights of your image. Whichever colors you're going to put on your right side are going to affect the shadows of your image. So that's why um, you see the pink just affected the dark shadows and the red affected the other parts. Or actually the other way around. Anyways. You just click along this line to add more points. So from, from the red, we're going to go to uh, orange, add another one, and we're going to go to yellow. We basically want to go with all the colors, but um, you can, actually this looks pretty cool right now as well, but you can choose whichever colors work best for your design. They don't have to be these colors, but just know that these like bright rainbowy colors give you that sort of heat map effect. You can also just use three colors, four colors. Um, that's up to you. I like to use all the rainbowy colors to get this effect. So we're going to have red on top and bottom, and then basically the rainbow colors. And that's basically all you have to do. Um, we can also, once you're happy with this, with how your skull is looking, you don't want to change the colors anymore. You can click on the smudge tool, just click and it will tell you to rasterize it. So press OK. And then you can smudge this a little bit and make that really cool melting effect that you see probably everywhere right now. So you can melt your skull and the gradient map will apply to the smudged part as well and not to your background. When you're finished smudging it, what I like to do is just select my layers, command G to group them together, then command J to duplicate on a new layer and this we're going to right click and merge it um, so that if I mess up I can always have my group over here um, and fix whatever it is I need to fix. So lastly, I just go to filter noise, add noise, and play around with the levels. 
I like this amount of noise, so we usually go with around 7. Press OK, and there you go. Look how cool is this, guys. Um, if I mess up, I'm just going to go back to here. Maybe I, let's say I want to change colors. I can do that without a problem. And you can change whichever gradient maps if you already have um, some saved. Um, these that you see over here are my gradient map packs. So you can just click the link in the description below. I have two uh, pro packs with 25, I guess, I believe, or maybe 20 gradient maps each. And then I have some freebies for you as well with five gradient maps each. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment if you want to request another tutorial. Um, I've been really busy. That's why I haven't been posting on here for a little bit, but I'm going to try and keep doing two videos per week. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.